When I was a child, I strongly believed in a strict black and white outlook, at least in regards to what someone was able to do and or accomplish in their lifetime. I had this mindset until I was about 16 years old. When I discovered that, I was not just destined to be confined to a desk, pumping out words all day in isolation. Instead, I realized that I could do this, but also attribute it to other passions I have outside of writing and the English language. I found it very difficult to balance my love for music and for literature, because when I was younger, I thought being a decent writer was the only thing I needed to keep myself satisfied. However, when I actually learned how to play an instrument, I soon began to reconsider everything I had previously thought about fulfilling a purpose in life. After f learning how to tune an instrument in basic theory, I realized that music had a great deal in common with literature and writing. Some people might consider the two subjects to be a no-brainer in regards to how much they share similarities because they are both creative rather than logical. However, some aficionados of writing may completely stump themselves on how the two subjects are similar, or vice versa for musicians. The most obvious way that music and literature are similar is through the process of writing. You have to write in order to create a piece of literature, and you have to write in order to create a piece of music. But where the two separate is with the words. Musical notation is very different in comparison to the English language, but they are also connected. Both forms of writing have continuations and breaks and feature a sort of rhythmic quality. When a person reads a line of poetry they have not seen, they may stumble on an irregular lexical choice similar to when a person's sight reads a chord progression or melody they've never played. The point not just being that both subjects require practice, which they do, but however, this then leads into another way music and literature are similar, which is through the use of expression to communicate to an audience or to oneself. Whatever an individual's personal reasoning for writing music or literature, they are communicating, but using different mediums or disciplines. The reason why why I use the word discipline is because it requires a certain level of discipline to decide which words or notes to write. One might be able to convey a simple idea through the use of a simple sentence or a 1-5-6-4 progression, but that simple idea can take on a whole new meaning if you change the words or the notes in the writing. It is not just about the structure, however, and simplicity is not inherently evil but it takes a great amount of skill to make something interesting out of something simple, which is another way that writing music and writing literature are more similar than actually different. The great American animator Chuck Jones once said, every artist has thousands of bad drawings in them, and the only way to get rid of them is to draw them out. The use of the word artist applies to anyone who expresses themselves through a creative medium. However, this quote stands out to me specifically as a writer and musician because it acknowledges the imperfections that we all have. We often think of many ways to break out of old habits or cycles rather than embrace what may come out of something that is not liked just by you. Both music and literature have their fair share of artists who are unsatisfied with their work, which only sparks a desire to do something better than the last. To conclude, I believe that the most significant similarity between the two outlets of expression is that both embrace a deep learning curve of trying to create something meaningful that has substance. This reason alone is probably why I enjoy writing music and literature, but it is also what keeps me coming back for more time and time again.